Hello YouTube. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Shout out to all of my subscribers, to everybody who have been who have been there for me. All those why I am very very much excited to be here with you today, and I want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel. And it's a very great privilege for me to be doing this once more with you guys. Today I was thinking how uh, we should make a beat. I don't know how you feel about that. For me, I feel exciting about that to share with you how to make an Afro loving beat. So without wasting much of your time on this, this is what we are going to be dealing with today. This is our today's project and this is what we are going to be doing. So in this tutorial today, we are going to be breaking down on Afro beat, on how to make an Afro beat. I just have a bit here I just make and I just arrange it at the playlist for you here to see. So without wasting much of your time, let's play and dive into making of Afro beat. <laughs> That was it that was what we just have and that was what we are going to be working on today on this video i believe you love what you had and you want to do something similar to this or you want to do something more than this so today we are going to learn a lot about it actually if i am starting this uh, i don't i can't remember what i start up with this bit again because when it comes i just jump into it and then decided to make something out of this so but in without much time let's just start from the upper part of it down like this and see what we added added to just achieve this so one of the thing that happens here actually i won't say i started from the from the from the, the from the drums because i hardly start from drums when making beats so let me say i start from the chord so i have a chord here in which i play this is from purity which i played let me let me exercise this a little bit for you to see okay from purity i don't know if you have a purity if you are a producer or you want to be a producer i think purity is one of the here is the purity one of the um vst plugin that you need to have it's nice so here is what i played So that is one of the things I played when I was on this. So after playing that, I think I played something else, but let's just start from the top so that I won't confuse you on this. So the next thing that comes to my mind that was I did was just an um, my drone, my snare. I just decided to just pop this snare in and I played this snare. And I just decided to hit this snare. After playing this snare, then I decided to add some kind of reverb to it. My EQ, you could see I cut it. 
then I I just add the reverb a little bit of reverb to it. That is the reason why you see it standing that way. I add my snare to it. So after adding my snare to it, I started to add something else to it, which is my my da my dance hair clap, dance hair clap. That was one of my pack. So I decided to like do it this way. You see. So I send it to a channel, a mixer channel. Actually, I didn't add any effect to it. Just reduce the volume when I was just mixing it. So then the next thing I all together with it, it sounds this way. So now the next thing on the line was this just a kick and this kick I just like and the way I just said it was just hitting it like it was it, wa it wasn't a normal form of kick like the way continuous kick or this boo 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 I just just a simple kick like you can see You can see just a normal form of kick, not too harsh, just just simple. So we teach the sound this way. So the next thing I decided to add was was my kick again because I used to kick on this and they are all standing in different form. So this kick was a continual kick. I just like in this four four bars was like this you can see so that kick what I did was was I didn't add little things to anything to it I just I didn't add anything to it, it was just like and uh, just turn down the volume a little bit and just set it a little bit so another thing I decided to add well if you could hear you with the second kick See how it sounds with the second kick. So you could see the kick wasn't sounding too harsh and it wasn't sounding too too low. It was just something that you could feel it when you are using your headset and you could feel it, you could feel the motive of the song. So something I added right here was um let me open it and see was a was this a a hole it was just like something this way it wasn't sounding so loud it was just something cool it wasn't sounding very loud so i i just sent it to mr channel there was like an okay i sent it to 10 so I didn't add anything. I just have to just a uh, just pound it to the to the right. That is it. Then turn down the volume of it a little bit. So when the next thing I decided to add, this one was just my tag. Was just a just a tag. Was how it sounds. So another thing I decided to I decided to work on was this again. I don't, I don't think I explained this already. I didn't explain this. Okay. Like it sounds this way. You see? Well, just like a like a conga drone, just hitting it. I just got that from the SAS pack, or like this. And let me play it. Yeah. The next thing here was uh, this. Go, 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 go. So it was just a just a vocal stuff. I just decided to just I didn't touch anything on it that, that much. I just decided to just add it to it. 
because I feel like it's nice and then it's going to give a present to my bit it's going to give a present to it 13 I didn't add anything to it so the next thing again that we're going to be jumping on or making an afro bit right now is this you can see just the backing of a dog I just decided to just pitch it a little bit so with the backing of the dog it, it will be sounding this way so after that one another thing that comes into my mind was on um, was this uh a ring this ring just sound this way It's just a one-time hit. I just decided to add it to it. Just a one-time hit, just like this. Just add it to it, just to hold down my beat. So another thing that we are going to be jumping into right now was this. I like. I just played this from uh, just just a guitar. This from purity also. I mostly use purity. Because I do understand it a, a lot. I just use a jazz guitar from Purity that sounds this way. So you could see. So now. So now. When I added that to it. But it, it sounds this way. The next thing I added was just a, or well just a, a, a drum roll. You can see the way the drum roll sound. It's coming. You can see how it sounds. So with it, it sounds this way. So you can see. So. One another thing I added here was just a this kind of Afro vibe stuff like you can see just a clap just add some kind of reverb to it so it sounds so I play a chord here to support the main chord and then it sounds this way. So now with it, it sounds this way. With the chord, it sounds this way. So, one of my main major stuff I added on this was my bass. So let's dive into the bass. I added two sets of bass into this, a low bass and just a normal line bass, subline bass. So now let's dive into this one because the bass is one of the main major aspect of this beat. So now the, the bass, this is what I, I added. I played on the bass. just love that bass a lot so the bass i uh, i know you'll be asking maybe where do i get the bass this bass is actually from purity again some purity i got the bass from purity and i just play it you see just an fm bass guitar just a guitar bass so when it all together with the bass it it's supposed to be sounding this way So the next 
first thing I added was the, the low bass and my low bass sounds this way. So you could see the way it sounds, my low bass sounds, so with the low bass it sounds this way. So you could see the way it sounds. So the next thing that comes into my mind that I decided to add, this one was just uh, just my tag. Victor Brown on the beat. So the next thing that comes into my mind was this. I decided to play this right here again. Just continue and then it sounds this way. So the next thing I added just to support the rule again was this. Then I just add some kind of preverb to it. So to supporting the rule, do that. So uh, last stuff I added on this was just my shaker. Shaker, you know Shaker? Shaker is a very one of the most necessary stuff in Afrobeat that gives the life to it. So I added this Shaker. So that is everything I did on this beat that you see. I got this. There is no secret in this as a apart from what i just showed you it's just a matter of you putting out your time to see something so i decided to make this video a very short video for you to enjoy thanks for watching and i will leave you i will just play the beat for you so that you could just listen to the beat thank you for passing by and thank you for taking your time to learn from me i am very so excited about it don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also like this video if you think it's really valuable to you thank you very much I remain Victor Brown. Stay blessed.